Hello and welcome back. I hope you guys are having a wonderful new year. Today is January 2nd. So today we are going to do some, uh, this is the most request uh, uh, video for the year, okay, which means yesterday, all right. People want to know a uh, comparison between right. Varia uh, versus a niche, niche zero, okay, niche zero. So uh, let's talk price first, okay, let's talk about price and then let's get into the uh, kind of a live demonstration here. $300 for the uh, Varia VS3, so $299 exact price. And it comes to niche. If you go to their website right now, okay, 499 pound. If you don't believe me, here you go. Here's the, their website, niche at 499. Uh, if you're lucky enough to live it in Seattle, if you go if you go to Craigslist, this person is selling this zero coffee grinder for 850. All right, 850. So if I were you, okay, get yourself a brand new one rather than used, all right? 500 pound, so convert that to, uh, let's see here, dollars there. I think, I, is that pound still, that used to be like one to two, used to be. Hold on. Pound is really weak right now, so $500, 500 pound to dollar is about, Man, it's still won't, man, still, it's not as bad, okay? It's $600. That used to be pretty bad, but it's about $600. So, again, pretty much double the cost. Uh, Varia sitting at $300, and the niche grinder, you are looking at $600. So, double the price. So, that's what we are looking at, comes to, uh, com uh, comes to price wise. Okay, I mean, as you, I, I know, how many of you still looking to buy a niche grinder? I mean, I'd uh, love to hear from you. Okay, just let me know. And uh, Varia just came out a couple months ago. Uh, whenever you go to like YouTube or Instagram, I know a lot of influencers uh, have that grinder. You guys see a lot of demos on it, the reels or, you know, posts and stuff like that. But uh, they're up and coming. Okay, let, let's put it that way. They're very popular, slick. Uh, but let's put this thing to the test. I have a light roast coffee here from a uh, uh, flower child from the Bay Area, light roast. And then let's find out how long it's gonna be, it takes to grind 18 grams. So after we grind some coffee, uh, let's do back-to-back -back shots and see uh, which coffee, I don't wanna say, comes to comparison which coffee is better, but it's all subjective anyway. You know, I'm gonna, you know, share with you my thoughts on it. But at least you get to see the workflow, okay? At least you get to see the workflow. Uh, John F. Uh, just mentioned auto niche grinder this morning. Uh, eight, uh, 685 with the shipping, okay, from UK. 685. 685 for the niche if you order right now. Uh, from their website, uh, I, I'm not I'm not quite sure about the shipping cost on Varia. Let's you know let, let's assume you know 40, 50 bucks maybe. So again, kind of like approximately double the cost. All right, here we go. Okay. Again, if you are just joining us. Uh, welcome to live streaming. Oh, so I already measured that 18 gram. With niche or varia, I highly recommend RDT. Okay, RDT means a rust rapidly technique. Just a little bit of spritz. Okay, just a little bit of water. Just shake it up. You don't need much. Let's find out how long it's going to take to grind 18 grams. Uh, 
about 15 seconds. Okay. About 15 seconds for niche grinder. Again, the reason why I recommend the RDT, you don't see any static there. And I do. Hey, John, if you are watching right now, get one of these, okay? One of these plunge. So you just get all the rest of coffee out. It looks a little ugly, but works pretty good. All right, so about 15 seconds for a niche. Let's take a look at the varia, how long it's going to take to grind 18 grams. Just a little bit of water. Okay. There we go. About 40 seconds there. About, you know. I like to tap it, okay? I like to tap the top. There we go. I need more like, you know what? Let's give it up 50 seconds, okay? If you want to get the every features out. So it's about 50. Uh, even with a little bit of RDT, I see some little bit of static, but it's not too bad. But obviously, RDT works really good with the niche grinder. But again, uh, it's, it's manageable. All right, let's start with uh, let's start with the niche. Now, let's pull the shot. I'm using a uh, Bianca. Let's use a little Bianca as the coffee machine there this morning. Uh, Dean just mentioned that uh, sound of varia uh, var uh, sounds, it is a little, I don't want to say terrible. Yeah, it is. It's a little weak there. You know, it's not a, we are dealing with, you know, under power motor. So, so let's start with niche winder. Do a little bit of WDT. Let's give it a quick temp. Okay, look like well, it might be too fine. We'll see. Let's give it a There we go. See, this is shot number one with the niche grinder. It is a little bit fine there. So I'm setting at about 13, about 13 notch.
Let's go up to 40, uh, about 40 grams, 1 to 2 ratio. Let's do 40. 39, uh, we almost a minute, about 58 seconds. Okay. All right. So we got the shot done. It's, yeah. Uh, we have, we need to dial it in one more time, sir. But, uh, this time, let's go with barrier. So this is the barrier. About the same depth as well. I think I might grind too fine. It's the same thing, about 40 gram. Man, I'm choking right now. I'm definitely choking. There we go. I see something. Okay, you know what? Tell you what. Let's not waste this coffee. <clears throat> As you can see, the both, uh, I mean, both coffees are pretty bad, okay? Way, way over extracted, all right? And then, uh, having said that, which means we have two bad coffees here, okay? So this is the coffee from Niche. This is the Barria. So let's try this coffee. If this thing's really, really bad, okay, uh, we're gonna do the second shot. <clears throat> I know Jose, I, I know Jose uh, say two, two shots. I hear you, Jose, All right? I mean, if this is uh, <clears throat> the legit coffee channel, we should, but J-Mac agree as well. I'm gonna big shout out to our, our live chat. We got about 40 people watching, guys. It's only 10 thumbs, uh, thumb, thumbs up, come on, okay? Make sure thumbs up for this video. <clears throat> Niche, cheers. Happy New Year. I'm just gonna, hold up. Okay, so let's start this. Jersey say bet on Niche. Okay, again, we are doing the bad coffee, okay? Dialing. Way, way over extracted. So is that too bad makes right? I don't know. It's too bad makes right. Here we go. So this is a coffee from Niche. Okay. Whoa. Floor. Wow. A lot going on, guys. It's a lot going on here. This is, it's a little bitter, but it's not that bad. Definitely drinkable, all right? 
two bed max bed. <clears throat> so this is the varia. So we are talking about degree of bad. Okay, there's degree of bad. <clears throat> so this is a varia. VS3. Hold on. Man. Great thing about the flow control. Okay, I mean, if I'm going to pull the shot, uh, just straight nine bar shot, it's going to be terrible. Since I was playing with the flow control, uh, you know, I mean, I can salvage that shot. That's why this coffee is not as bad as you think. Okay. Okay. Uh, JMX said there's a bad, uh, bad two minute shot. It's all, again, it's all, all that, that's why I love having flow control there. So hold on. So this is the, go back to niche. Man, a lot of floor. I can take speech. Hold on. So this is the varia. Man, this is interesting. Okay. Very, very interesting. So I think this is, uh, let's do another shot. Okay. Uh, if you're just joining us right now, we are comparing the niche versus varia. The first round, <clears throat> uh, about the same, okay? I mean, both, you know, taste, you know, it's, it's not great, but it's not horrible either. Get our fingers crossed. So hopefully I have a 36 gram here. Hold on. Hopefully I have 36 gram. Man, I got 34 gram right now. You know what? So I got 34 gram. Uh, let's do a 17 gram shot. All right. I got 34 gram. Let's 17 gram. Instead of 18, let's do 17. Yeah. So hopefully we're gonna do dial. So since we are need the low dose, and I need to change my grind size here. Right now I'm sitting at number thirteen. Goodness. I mean again, the seventeen gram should be close enough there. Uh, I need to go seven. I'm at thirteen right now. About minute long shot. So I need I need to go even like 15, 16. I'm going to go at 16 gram, uh, 16 for that. And there comes the varia. I'm sitting at. Okay, I'm sitting at like 3.4 uh, right now. So this one is way over a minute. So I'm just going to change to around maybe like four. Okay, change to about four there. So because I want to be between like 25 and 30 seconds, right? So it, it might work. We'll see. So let's uh, separate out some coffee beans here. We're going to do a 17 gram shot. We cannot waste any good coffee. Again, if you are just joining us right now, welcome to live streaming. So we do this. 17, uh, let's do 16.8, 16.9, there we go. Sixteen point nine. okay. All right, so let's go number two. So this shot number two. So let's start with uh, niche grinder. Again, uh, highly recommend RDT, okay? Highly recommend RDT here.
Again, take a while to grind eight, uh, 17 gram on barrier. There we go. So let's start with niche first. You're going to do the exact same process. There's some RDT, uh, WDT here. Yeah, the one gram makes big difference, even though I changed the grind size, but hopefully we're gonna get some decent shot here. Um, seven thing where I'm trying to, sh again, I'm uh, trying to shoot for one to two ratio, about 35 to 36 gram. Well, let's take a look. Much better shot right now. About 34 gram there. 34, about 27 seconds. So it looks pretty good. So let's move on to, again. Vary up. If you are just joining us for the first time, uh, we are comparing Barrier versus Niche Grinder. The first round was a little messy, but this round should be better. Okay. Shot number two. <clears throat> well, again, nice looking shot there so far. About 34 gram. <clears throat> About 21 seconds. So still pretty close. Okay, pretty close to the ideally about 25 to 30. But at this point, I'm fine with that. Okay, I'm fine with the shot time. <clears throat> So this time around, again, we got 18 gram. Uh, actually, we did the 17 gram, one to two, 17. So about 34, 35 gram. So this is coffee from Niche, uh, Varia. Okay. Here we go. Happy New Year. Okay, much better. Okay, much smooth. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Fruity. Very fruity. You can definitely taste a lot of peach and fruit. Yeah, fantastic. If you guys like the bright uh, coffee, uh, Ethiopia is where to go. All right. <clears throat> so this is a, a Varia. Okay. 
Shot number two. There you go. Cheers. Man. I, I mean, again, I, I mean, I wish some of you, you guys are here right now. Do the taste this coffee. I should have done the blind taste. Okay, earlier, uh, my buddy Ryan said, Hun, I think you should do the blind taste. But, man, very, very similar. Okay, so we, we are talking 63 millimeter conical from Niche. Baria, we are talking about 38 millimeter, kind of like double the size. Uh, but comes to this coffee, lighter roast, very close. I have to say, it's very, very close to. Again, the taste is subjective. Uh, especially conical birds. They give you, you know, hold on. You know, let, let, let's try one more time, okay? Yeah. Okay. Hold on. Uh, so since this cup is cooled down a little bit, the temperature does matter as well. Temperature does matter. Okay, so here we go. So this is the varia. Okay, slightly more smooth. Niche grinder is a slightly more smooth. Unless if you are a hardcore espresso drinker at home, we are talking about hardcore, okay? We are going to tell the difference there, but most of us, it's gonna be hard to, you know, it's gonna be hard to differentiate. All right. Again, the temperature is a big thing, but uh, you know what? Uh, so let's, I'm gonna taste that again. Why don't you coffee's to cool down a little bit? All right. Okay. Let's, uh, coffee's cool down a little bit. Uh, it's about 46 people watching. Uh, welcome to live streaming. I'm glad you guys are here this morning. This afternoon, it's already 2 30, guys. Okay, uh, make sure thumbs up, okay? Thumbs up on the video, all right? Obviously, you guys are here. Uh, which one's better? Grinder, right? Comes to beer quality, by far niche is superb, okay? It's definitely better beer quality if you are comparing niche versus barrier. Obviously, the price difference is well, pretty much. Niche is double the price, 680 shipped, okay? 680 shipped from UK. Uh, with the barrier, you are looking at $300 plus shipping cost. I don't know how much the shipping cost is going to be, but 30, 40 bucks. So pra uh, practically double the price. And it comes to the niche. Here, let me show you. <clears throat> let's, let's give you guys a closer. Okay. Let's talk about close up here. We, with the niche grinder, comes with a retractable core, all right? I really appreciate that. I really appreciate the niche comes to a retractable core, just like so. I mean, like little things, okay? I really like it. Uh, with Baria, uh, comes with a laptop charge. Uh, the laptop break. Comes with the laptop break. So this is not, a, I'm not that crazy about, but obviously you have to, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do to make this grinder work. And it comes to color, white is really nice, very sharp color. But if I were you, go with the black. Okay, if you're thinking about getting Varia, go with the black. Uh, with a niche grinder, the clearly numbers are clearly marked it. Okay, with the varia, if you have a bad eyesight, it's hard to read it. Okay, so make sure you put your glasses on. But yeah, I mean that's kind of like a little thing. Okay, it's not a deal breaker. That's the little things. But I did notice it. Uh, comes to motor. 
I know people are complaining about the, the motor from niche grinder are under power. Okay, Baria is really under power. So, there's something you have to, something you have to look at it. Before you purchase, you know, $300 or $700 on your, of your future grinder, make sure you give some thought and do your research, okay? And Gary say, uh, Gary ordered a black niche last week. Good. I think you're going to be happy with it, okay? Uh, niche has been around for a while. The wire means more than a couple of years. Let's put it that way, okay? I mean, for the coffee industry, coffee, a uh, couple of years, you know, I mean, that's have some track records. That's good. But with the Varia, it just came out, okay? It just, it's been out for a couple of months. Uh, again, if you are watching from Instagram or YouTube, you know, a lot of influencers are, you know, make a lot of videos on it. So, I mean, that's why I was able to get one as a demo unit from Varia. But get the black. If you're, gonna, if you're planning on getting Varia, get the black. The white shows everything. So it shows all the smudges. Yeah. Let's see here. Uh, Jesse. I came and got the niche when, yep, the British pound was crashed. Yeah, I mean, what, a couple of weeks ago. You guys remember the pound to dollar was almost one to one. That was, a, that was great. Okay. So right now, it's kind of like back up again. So 500 pound, but it's about $600, 600 US, uh, USD. Uh, Danny asked, what the retention on Varia? Very, very low. If you put 18 gram in, you're gonna get 18 gram out. So yeah, so definitely is low. Uh, so the niche, okay. Okay, so Cardi asked, what's, what's better, DF64 or G64, I don't know what G64 is. Yeah, I don't know what that is. Okay. Uh, Dean asked, what would be next step up from niche for quality grinder? Hey, Dean, unless you're going to spend about $3,000, comes to Conoco, uh, we have a Weber, Weber Key. That's an 83 millimeter Conoco. Uh, if you don't mind the hand grinder, the HG1 Prime, uh, they are nice grinder there as well. So, I mean, that's, that's kind of like step up from niche. But again, we're not talking about big difference, but who knows? Uh, I mean, I did play with HG1 Prime. I really liked it a lot. Okay, I really enjoyed the HG1 Prime. The band asked, any plan for Lagoon P100? No, not anytime soon. Okay. Not anytime uh, soon there. Comes to Asia and Depth say MC5 is a good step up from niche. But we are talking about six, eight, uh, 600 bucks versus uh, $2,500 before the customization of MC5. So it's quite a bit. Okay, that, that are quite a bit. The good news is, does it worth double the price in total conclusion? Okay. Is that double the price for niche? Here, here's the thing. If a barrier, okay, is barrier has been around for a few months. As far as I know, it's been a few months. There's not a lot of track records there. If this is reliable, okay, uh, if they say it's going to be last for the next five years, I mean, Varia is not that bad, okay? It comes to Varia, it's not bad. But it may broke down next week or next month. Who knows, okay? Who knows? So with, but with a niche, you guys know, a niche has a good track record. You know it's going to be last for a long time. I had it for, what, going on three years now, okay? I have no issues so far. So, again, we are talking about $300 versus 600 bucks, okay? Yes, it is double the price, but still the price is still under $1,000 range there. So, man, that's, that's something you have to decide for yourself. But the one thing, I'm very concerned about the longevity of Varia. The motor sounds very weak. So, it's about, what, 1,600, what, 1,600 RPM? No, hold on. 680? It's pretty, yeah, pretty slow grinder. 
Okay. Let's see. Uh, M MGS. Hang grinder for HG1 Prime. Yep. About a thousand bucks. Hang grinder for a thousand bucks. That is true. It's by 83 millimeter conical. That comes with the muzzle. Uh, Jesse say G64. Different from P64. Okay, hold on. Better for RPM. G, I don't think, there's no G64. I think it's P64 you guys are talking about. Okay, I think you're talking about P64. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's 1600. I think, you know what? Let's do a fact check, okay? Varia VS3 RPM. Let's take a look. Uh, 160. 160 RPM for a Varia there. 160. Not 1600. Yeah. Yeah, 160. Okay, 160 for uh, Varia. Uh, VS3. Okay, coffee grinder. Okay, comes to, you know what, let's summarize this uh, you, since you guys are watching here. Uh, comes to taste. Niche is a slightly smooth, but not, not much, okay? Not double the price. Let's put it that way. But, but, uh, comes the beer quality, uh, obviously niche is much superior than Barrier. And also the longevity is unknown, okay? So we got the unknown longevity on Barrier. But if you are looking for the taste, uh, difference between Barrier and niche, very, very small, okay? But again, I, whenever you're buying something, you have to look into the taste. You are looking into longevity. You are looking into the, how it fit into your workflow as well. So, I mean, look at all those things, all right? I'm not saying one is better than other. They are completely two different coffee grinder. Uh, comes to price and comes to, uh, comes to quality of the build. I mean, Baria, I did an unboxing video the other day. I mean, seems like well built, but we don't know. Okay, that's a lot of unknowns. But uh, Dominico said Barria might be easier with a darker roast. Yes, because darker roast is a lot, you know, a little softer. Okay, it's not dense as a lighter roast. So if you are doing a lot of lighter roast, lighter roast, put a lot of pressure on the motor. But I mean, if you're a person that likes to do medium to dark. It's not as bad, okay, not as bad there. Uh, MSG asks, what is the most expensive coffee beans you try? Uh, you know what, I think I tried the Geisha uh, the other day. It's, it's pretty pricey. It's about, what, 70, well, $100 per eight, or four ounce, I think, yeah. Uh, Richard said, flat or conical? Again, depend on the coffee. If I'm drinking, like an interesting fermentation process, like natural or anaerobic. I, I, I prefer big conical birds. But if you're doing the like wash process, like Ethiopia, something really clean, I like the flat bird. So ideally, you know, the ideal setup should be have both. But if you're going to pick one, Go, I don't know, I mean, go with, I, I mean, go with, you know, whatever you like to get, okay? I mean, you know, whatever you can for it, all right? So, because it comes to conical, and so, con, uh, flapper, you are looking at under sub $1,000 range there. We have uh, quite a few grinders, so. <clears throat> Hold on, uh, let's see here. Gary say, higher altitude coffee have much hotter beans, or hotter beans more difficult to grind, like, Bravo grinder. You know what? So far, I mean, all my coffee at home for my Bravo Prista Express and Pro is 99% of the time medium to dark roast anyway. So, I mean, at here at my coffee desk, I use my EK or, you know, other grinders for my lighter roast. So, I mean, most of us, yeah, I don't know. Most of us, you want, you know, something, yeah. I don't know what to say. 
Okay, I think. Uh, can you say I'm in? Uh, yep, stick with the F. Uh, the F64s are fine. I know. I, I know a lot of haters out there. Okay, I know a lot of haters for the F64, but hey, I mean for the price, that's really good. Okay, that's really good price. Okay, Richard asks, do you niche have better bird like SSP? I know a Gorilla Gear, they are planning on coming up with a niche birds. Okay, Gorilla Gear. And also, I think another company uh, might coming up with another birds designed for niche. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, Gorilla Gear. Yep. So I think we are, I think we cover everybody here, guys. I think so. I'm going to shout out to all the live chat there. We got friends going on. You got the live chat conversation. This is good. Make sure you have one thumbs up on video. Now is the time. And thank you so much for joining us today. Hold on. One last question here. We got the Darren say VS3 or SGP. Is that Smart Grinder Pro? Smart Grinder Pro versus uh, VS3. Man, that is a great question there, isn't it? The Smart Grinder Pro has been around for a long time. It's been proven. And the cheaper as well. It's about $100 cheaper. The Smart Grinder Pro is about, what, $199? Uh, let's double check that. Okay, hold on. I'm looking at the, my Smart Grinder Pro price. It's about 200 bucks. Okay, Smart Grinder Pro is about 200 dollars uh, versus Varia. <clears throat> uh, if I were, I go with the Smart Grinder Pro. Okay, obviously, if you are thinking about saving money, yep, go uh, go with the Smart Grinder Pro. Okay, Gary says Smart Grinder Pro bought hard bins uh, rough on the birds. Yes. But, okay, hold on. Dominico, Prometheus, did a video on flat birds for niche. Uh, I think uh, the Mr. Wong, okay, the Sheldon Wong come up with the niche. It's got a conversion kit. Okay, they, they come out, he come up with a conversion kit for it's like almost $500. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's a four or $500 for a conversion kit. Uh, I think you can install like 54 millimeter. I think 54 millimeter uh, birds there. So, man, if I were you, just uh, save that money, get a proper uh, flat bird. Yeah, but again, the Smart Grinder Pro, you can do espresso. You can do espresso all the, all the way after filter coffee. So. The reason why I mentioned Smart Grinder Pro because it's been around for a long time. And you, you know the history behind it. So with a Varia, if a Varia give you a good warranty on it, I'm going to say go for it. But if the warranty is only about year, you know, one year manufacturer, there's a lot of iffy, especially it comes with a laptop brick there. so. I mean, so far I'm pretty impressed with it. So far I'm pretty happy with the grinder. Okay. And Gary said, yes, have one. Have for six years. Gary's been using for six years for Smart Grinder Pro. I mean, only thing you got to do is just replace the burr. Okay. That's it. If you are rough on the burr, that's fine. Just get a new one. Just new birds. All right. I think we are, we are good for this morning. Actually, this afternoon. So, oh, hold on. One last taste. So, this is a niche grinder. It's been cooled down for a while. Here you go. Cheers. Okay. Wow. A lot of lemon. Okay. Very bright. So, this is a Varia. So, this is Varia. Here we go. Woo. Yeah, I think I go with the niche. All right. Uh, when, when coffee is hot, the difference is not a lot of difference. 
coffee is cold right now, yeah, I can tell definitely the huge variance, okay? Uh, it's more smooth with the niche winder. But you know what? I mean, who drinks cold coffee anyway? So, I mean, having said that, based on that, uh, niche or varia comes to tasting. Again, niche is slightly better, but not the double the price, okay? <clears throat> Okay, and the Romeo say DF DF sixty four with the low RPM. Oh man, uh, D, I think there's a new DF is coming out. It's called S. Uh, hopefully next few months. Uh, it's gonna be adjustable RPM on DF sixty four. All right, hold on. The Richard say skip that. Super good hand grinder. All right. If you're looking for filter, I mean. You know, you can get a, spend about 100 bucks, you can get some very nice hand grinder for your filter coffee. Okay, I think we are good. Thank you so much for hanging out with us uh, this afternoon. Uh, let's see, uh, next couple of days, we got some, I got some unboxing to do. Sitting right there, corner right there. Uh, we're going to do some, uh, I got coffee roaster, I have to season it. Okay, I gotta do some seasoning on my coffee roaster. M2 Sniper. Should be a lot of fun. And then, I, I got some few more things coming up. Alright. Okay, so hold on. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... I noticed the chip hand grinders have ceramic... Okay, so, Richard, uh, meat right is not a ceramic. Okay, they are, I believe they are titanium. Alright. Yeah, they are definitely not a chip. It's about 150 bucks for me, right, hand grinder, so. Uh, most hand grinder for with the ceramic, they are about 30, 40 bucks. So definitely, me, right, is not a ceramic. Okay. All right, guys, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.